Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be reacting to one of my oldest videos that we put out online, but it's also a video that has almost 200,000 views on YouTube, so let's do this. Hey guys, it's Brandon from soldwithvideo.com, and today I wanna to show you the top. By the way, I made all, I did all these myself. I will say though, the logo reveal um, was from Fiber, which is something we still do to this day or recommend. The first mistake most business owners make is trying to do everything themselves. If you do this, you're going to drive yourself insane. If you're doing all the bookkeeping. So I had a green screen is what I used and um, didn't like, I don't know what was going on because you can see the bleeding of the green on my face, but you can also see like when I keyed it out, it's still like a little buzz of black around my, <laughs> it's such a bad All the marketing, opening in the morning, closing at night, and all the advertising and answering all the calls and taking care of customers, you're gonna quickly find that you built yourself a job and not a business. That is not a situation you wanna be in because you limit the growth that your company can go. Okay, I'm giving advice on mistakes you would make and how to run a successful business. But this is this is all stuff that people would know anyway. Like if you're learning this on a video, you shouldn't even be running a business. Like I don't even know why I'd have this as advice. Or find a marketing company, find a bookkeeping service. Because oh, like, the keen, you can see the flickering of colors on my forehead and the hair. Many types of marketing, you should really be taking part in all of them to really get the best marketing and advertising campaign possible. There's online marketing, print marketing, direct mail, and TV and radio, and more. I'm pulling out all the technical stuff, which is ironic because it's not the stuff that we recommend or the stuff that we like. We tell people, don't worry about the technical stuff, but all the things I'm focusing on are the technical things. Like the mic, you can see it sticking out. I put it underneath my shirt because I was trying to be subtle, but then all of a sudden, but there's this big, it looks like this, like there's a big <laughs> thing on my shirt sticking out. And then the audio still sounds awful. It sounds like I'm in a, like a, a big hollow awesome. room. There's online marketing, print marketing, direct mail, and TV and radio, and more. You may want to spend a little bit more time and money on online marketing, but it doesn't mean you should eliminate all the other ones. And you can go even further than that. So if you want to do online marketing, you can do video marketing, you can do website SEO, you can do video SEO. To me, I thought I was being really slick by dropping in what I do in these things. I was like, you can do online marketing, like video marketing, video SEO, but I tried to bury it in other things so it didn't seem so obvious. This was my way of marketing. It's like so backwards to what we do today, but uh, it's kind of embarrassing actually. Mistake number three is that most business owners think they're a marketing genius. I just gonna say this, anyone that owns a successful business would watch this video on how to run a successful business and go, this kid doesn't know what he's talking about. And so what you should do is hire employees who know marketing or seek out a marketing company. So if you want to do video marketing, hire a video marketing company. If you want to do a website. And by the way, I own a video marketing company. SEO, do website SEO. By the way, we got no sales from this video. I love, the, I just, do, I love the logic like tree of like, you don't know marketing. Yes, no. Yes, seek out marketing company. <laughs> just no real answer. On a daily basis, you know how to make the perfect cup of coffee. So when you compare my cup of coffee to your cup of coffee, yours is gonna blow mine out of the water. Yeah, I got it done, but it's not very good. So the same thing goes with marketing. If you really want to get- That was actually pretty good. Like it was a great counter example or I guess metaphor analogy that proved the point. Proud of myself. hire people to do it for you. So if you want to do online marketing, hire an online marketing company. If you want to do video marketing, <laughs> hire a video marketing company. If you want some video SEO done, and here's my link. Here's my business card. Now you want to focus on your customers you have because you want them to keep coming back to you again and again and again. And if you're spending too much time on marketing and driving new customers into your business. What's really funny is I believe almost the exact opposite of this advice today. I don't think we need to be catering to our customers all the time. And I think that's actually one of the reasons why we run into problems is we're constantly like sending survey results and this and that, letting external things like the audience dictate our messaging, our offers and all that stuff. I, there's gotta be a level, that, like you gotta do it to some degree, but not to the degree I'm talking about here. So this is the word, don't, if you're listening, do not follow this advice. It's some of the worst business advice you will ever get. The, Things make your customers happy and they end up telling their friends and they say, hey, this company Giving things away for free is not, it might make your customers happy, but it's not the best way to make your customers happy or to create loyalty within a brand. 
It has a lot to do with things like identity. So when your business becomes a part of your audiences or your customers' belief systems or identity, that's the thing. Like our students literally call themselves 4Xers. There's community involved in it. They're, they're part of their identities wrapped up in our business and that creates huge loyalty. Um, the coffee example that I give all the time is if you cater it to parents and there's a lot of parent identity wrapped in there, that's, that's gonna create the loyalty. I mean, this stuff, I mean, it'll help, but it's, like if your your only way to make customer happy is by giving them free stuff and not having a great product that actually helps them or caters to identity beliefs, it, it's, it's stupid advice. But I will say what I'm doing here is I taught something and then I backed it up with a real example or a counter example or proof. So the subconscious mind would say yes. And again, it was a great example of like, hey, I taught something and I'm gonna back it up by showing an example. But unfortunately I used my own stuff as that example, which is a huge no-no. Uh, that we teach inside of our program now. Uh, and the reason why is because people aren't stupid. They know what you're doing. All you need to do to enter is like our Facebook page. <laughs> Did you see, you saw this video, right? Is that the load of text? Yeah, <laughs> so I paused, stopped the video. And I'm like, here's our process. And I remember what happened is I actually created a blog post and I wanted people to opt in for it. Uh, and it's actually a pretty good process for back then but I didn't want to actually explain it in the video because it's too much work, so I just pile of text and. What you should do is send out comment cards, ask people's opinions, tell them, hey, you can win a gift card at the end of the month if you fill out this survey. Things we like still that. do that, we do that. To, this, now, out of this whole 10 minute video, this is actually solid advice that I think people can take away. If you haven't changed anything, you haven't tested a new idea, a new message, a new piece of content, a new something inside your business in the last six months, what are you doing? Go test stuff. It shouldn't be six months, it should be every month. You should be doing something new or testing or trying or tweaking. Um, and that's a huge part of our company today is I really embrace a lot of that stuff. Sometimes not willingly, but I do it anyways because it is vital. Yeah, I mean, overall, the video is awful. Uh, not great, but it had almost 200,000 views and it was me learning and testing and just doing things and trying to get some action. It actually had, 2,300 likes and 80, 85 dislikes. That's what blows my mind. I'm like watching this as a, a successful business owner and the comments are like, people loved it. And so I guess the point here is, is that um, there's gonna be an audience for everyone. Doesn't matter how much you know, because I didn't know crap about running a successful business there. Like, well, let me put it this way. I had a lot of knowledge, or not even a lot, some knowledge on basic things that people would need to do to run a successful business. Like, it wasn't wrong advice, but when you have the knowing of running a successful business and you watch that, you can clearly go, that, that person has no idea what they're talking about. So I would imagine a lot of the people that are leaving these comments probably aren't running a successful business. They're probably just getting started. But I also, like, why would a successful business owner be searching how to run a, a successful business, like the top five business mistakes? <laughs> One person said, this all sounds very familiar to me. Good video. Yeah, because it's very common <laughs> advice. But anyways, it just really shows that no matter how bad the video is, how bad your performance is, the quality, the tech, the information, there's always gonna be an audience. Like there's even comments here, keep it coming. I took no, I took no, I took notes. What do you need to take notes on? This must have been when YouTube <laughs> was actually nice. <laughs> If you want to run a successful business, you need to make sure that it profits something. You have to make more money than you spend. And um, you can hire, we have a service that helps you do that. Just click the link. Cool, hopefully you guys like this. Going back and watching these videos is uh, <laughs> pretty entertaining to say the least. But if you want more videos like this, you want me to review more of our stuff like this, just leave us a comment uh, below letting us know what your favorite part was and if you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.